So next thing, even before we go to the three specific strategy for all businesses, we will want to focus on this action that you can do for all businesses and we'll make it very, very simple. So as simple as plus, minus, times and divide. So what can you do in this season? So this is apply for all businesses. Every business should add to minus, to times, to multiply and to divide. So what is something that you need to plus to add in this season of time? So I put it in the four area. First, of course, you need to think of things to how can I increase my revenue? That is for sure. How can I increase my revenue? What can the service that I add on to? Of course, later in the next part, I will share specifically what strategy you can apply. But you start to think what are the extra revenue I can think of. Of course, what is something that can minus? Of course, the first thing you think of is cost. How can I reduce my cost ethically and moral, uh, morally right? So I'm not asking you to reduce your salary of your staff or try to undercut your supplier. But in this season, what is something that practically you can reduce the cost? And third, what is something you need to times in this season of time? You need to times your learning. You need to increase your learning. At this time, there's a lot of business not in activity, but can you take this time to improve your business, your processes, your knowledge? So you need to time learning and what do you need to divide? Burden. Is there any burden you can divide up? Because for most CEO and entrepreneurs, all the burden you carry on to yourself. But is there some burden that you can share with your team or your supplier or your customer or any of your stakeholders or even family members? Is there any uh, burden that you can share? So second thing is this, what you need to add? So at this season of time, everyone is spreading fake news, negativity, but can you be positive? Like I said, it always starts with the mindset. 99% of people are stuck in the negative mode, but can you be positive? Can you add on more, even more positivity in this season of time? And of course, what do you reduce? Obviously, negativity. When you saw a news that is negative, can you just hold on to it and not share it out? And not be one of the person who add extra negativity. And when you meet your friends, uh, even through Zoom or through online, can you reduce some negativity? That is something that we ask for. Third, what do you do time? Flexibility. Can you add a time? Extra multiply your flexibility at this time. Maybe that's why I say, oh, can you just meet face to face? But now can you be more flexible? Can you meet online? But I never have I never do any meeting online before. But now can you be more flexible? And what are the services? Last time you cannot do this, but can you be more flexible at this point of time? So you need to multiply your flexibility and divide. Of course, this time is what I mentioned to you before, which is responsibility. Again, just like burden, particularly of responsible. Can you divide it out? Not first of internal team, then look for external support as well. Can you divide the responsibility at this point of time? Third, what is something you need to add on this time? in this season of time? Of course, you need to add value. Think of how can you add value. Again, when I, at every point I mentioned, you need to focus on internal and external, not only one. So how can you add value internally? And how can you add value externally to your client, to your uh, stakeholder, and even to the public? How can you add value? In fact, what we are doing this on this uh, video itself is adding value. Um, like I said, we had a brainstorm before even the government has, has ordered the movement restriction order. We call for our team to meet up. So we think, hey, we want to think of a framework solution, simple, that it can apply for our client. At first, we thought just do it for our clients. But after all, I said, hey, this, time, this is serious. If every business affected, uh, the whole world will come down, the whole Malaysia will go to the level impact tree. So I said, we will want to do it, with, we want to share it with all. So we put it into writing, we put it into visual, and then we also we contacted our, uh, our video partner, Firming Arts, to do this together so that we can share this and help more businesses to overcome in this season of time. So we want to add value at this season of time. And second, we want to, what do you want to reduce? Wastage. So at this point of time, yeah, you want to increase value, but in the same time, how can you reduce the wastage? So what are the wastage you have in your businesses or in your whole processes or in your value chain? So because over the time, we are so busy running our business day to day. And you know, over the time, you can add on so many things in your business or so many extra processes that is redundant. So how can you reduce wastage at this point of time? But you see some business, the wastage is the one key area in their expenses especially for F&B. So wastage is one area, if they can save, it can directly impact their bottom line. But if they, and it also in the vice versa, it can also make them not profitable or losing money just because of the wastage. So this is the time that you think of, what is the wastage I can reduce? And third, multiply. This is the time you want to multiply your engagement. 
When I say engagement, it doesn't need to be face to face, especially in this time of restriction order, movement restriction order. I'm not asking you to face to face engagement, but how can you engage again internally? You can through Zoom. When was the last time you have a chance to sit down with your head of department one to one, having a heart to heart talk, be it business, different area of life, business career, their goal, their dream, their vision, their challenges. So now I'm not asking you to sit down. You can do it over the Zoom call, over the online WhatsApp call or FaceTime. So having a good time, this is a 14 great time, 14 day good time for you to really understand them and plan their career for the next level. So increase your engagement and also externally work for customer. When was the last time you meet your customer uh, one to one and sit down, one hour have a good time understanding does your service and product really help them? What are the challenges they face and what are the other services or product or solution you can add value to them, you can help them with. You ha may have it right now, the capacity or you may not have in terms of competency and capacity but if you understand them well enough you can develop that and that is always the key of innovation the best innovation doesn't mean that you sit at home and think of a best solution and create a solution is to understand the needs and desire of your customer and this is the best time to do that so multiply your engagement payment when I say divide payment I'm not asking you to share the payment but same externally and internally as well so if your client couldn't pay one shot this time, can you divide it out? Ask them to pay in installment. Same goes to your payment. So most people say, I cannot pay now, I just want to hold everything. Yeah, you may not be able to pay one shot, but can you divide the payment and pay in installment? So that is what I'm asking for. Because now the, the whole Malaysia and whole world is either they give or they don't give. So the whole, all resources is stuck. But if you think of, let's divide our payment. I may not be able to pay one shot, but can we pay in installment at this time? And also, I may not receive one shot, but can I receive in installment this time? It takes someone to initiate this first, else everyone will be stuck. So divide your payment. Okay, last, the fourth point. What do you want to add is this. And this is one of the most important at this season. Everyone is losing trust to each other. So how can you increase trust in this season? So when I say trust, it can also mean transparency. For F, again, it's internal and external. For food and beverages, you see now they focus so much on the traceability. How do you trace um, the, where the food comes from? And people who deliver the food, they also put into the, uh, the how, what is the temperature of this person when they deliver the food, their body temperature, who are the person, and how they deliver the food, and where does this food come from? And being transparent at this time really helps a lot to increase trust. So even internally, this is the time when the moment the government announced the movement restriction order, so many entrepreneurs call me and ask me, hey, can I pay unpaid leave or can I just reduce the salary and all that. So all of them are telling the same thing. This is the time that you do trust. I said, how much can you save by taking unpaid leave or minusing their salary? Does it save your business? The answer is no, for sure. So, but because they are panicked, they are nervous, first thing they do, they want to save. But I said, this will not save your business. In fact, this will kill your business because they will lose trust in you during this time. But this is a time that you build trust with your team. You say, this is a time where we are not minus salary, we will not cut your leave, um, but we want to go through this together. This is a time that you build trust with your team. And what do you want to minus? Also, very relevant, self-centeredness or the other was selfish. Because this is the time that people try to protect themselves. They try to hold on their cash, they don't do this, and then they protect themselves. So everyone is being selfish at this time. You just go to a grocery store, everyone is buying all the food. But you must understand, there's so, only so much stock in the grocery store. If you take 10% portion, means 9% may not be able to buy for their daily needs in these 14 days. So if everyone would just think of, hey, maybe I don't, don't be so selfish, I just buy this, what I need for these two weeks. If everyone is doing that, it will not have chaos happen in, in this marketplace. And that is only retail. But what about the rest of the business? Can, if all the CEOs and entrepreneurs think generously, which leads to my next point, which what you need to time is generosity. So how can you be generous in this season of time? I know it's not easy. I'm not asking you to crazily and without wisdom and stupidity wise go and give everything. I'm not asking you to do that. But can you add, multiply a little bit of generous it could be financially, it could be time. Can you be generous with your time? Can you be generous with your knowledge? Can you be generous with your wisdom? So can you be generous at this time and multiply your generosity? If everyone is doing that, this season, we can stand through together. Just like I said, some businesses are in, 
negative one, zero, one, two, three different impact level. If all the business who are in negative one and zero are helping the business with impact of two and three, we can overcome this together, not only in Malaysia but globally. If everyone is thinking generously, we can overcome this season for a very long time. So that is the third thing. But last but not least is this. Last thing, resources. So how can you divide your resources? I just like I mentioned, if you want to be generous, look at the resources on hand. How can you share it out, the resources? And you, guess what? This is not just being generous, this is also being wise and strategic. Because you can combine all the resources now and do great things together. So share resources. So these are the four um, pillars that every business can apply. Plus, minus, and multiply and divide. So these are the things that every business should, can do.